everybody, it's Sam Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really sweet bridge fold card. So I've made a pillar fold in the past. I made that last year sometime and these were, um, so there was pillars on each side here. So the, the sides went all the way around. Whereas this one here, just with the way that I folded the card and by adding this piece here, people call it a bridge fold. So this is a five by seven and it folds flat there. So that now is five by seven, or you can fold it that way. And again, you'll have five by seven. Really, really cute. And I just thought I'd bring up closer here so you can see this really fun llama. And I will share with you the die set in a moment. And it's just really, really fun. The paper's here as well. I'll share all of that, but really simple, really effective. Stands up perfectly. And yeah, just think another fun fold card. Okay, so you're going to need, I've got here the Chasing Rainbows papers, so I've used the floral design, which is the reverse of this one. So you've got the unicorns on one side, and then you've got that beautiful floral print, so that's what I've used. And then for the background, you probably can't really make it out, but can you, yeah, you can just see the shine. So it's this one here, which is the really nice um, holographic um, sheets that you get at the very bit front of both the paper packs. So this is a 6 by 6 it's on the 12 by 12 as well, but I've also done it on here. So there is a mat and then the layer. And you can probably see it a bit better on the back there, you can see there. It's really, really lovely. And that's one of the dies as well, Llama Love. I forgot to share that one. So you've got plenty of room to write your message on the back. So I have, yeah, so I've used that paper pack. Again, all of this will be shared in my blog, but you can see there you get the three glitter designs, two iridescent designs, sorry. Um, which is what that one is I've used. I've used most of them, but there's still that one. That's absolutely stunning. Anyway, I will share, as I said, and then I've already gone ahead and cut out a lot of it. Then the die set is this one here. And like I said, it's so much fun. So this is the new first edition dies or rebranded. So a lot of them, they've had the packaging changed, updated. This is just called Llama. So it's really fun. I've already linked these in on my Amazon storefront and I'll share any other links as well. So yeah, I think it's a good one to have in your stash. I've really enjoyed playing with this. Um, you've got the avocado watermelon, little kind of bunting flags. You've got a singular um, bunting there. So that's just the one piece. So you would do more and more and then you can join them together. Little cactus and then a llama love. So that's the one I've used there. And then for the stamp, I had this one here, which is the Sweet Dixie Party Animal and it's the llamas. So the sentiments on this work perfectly with the dies. So it'd been quite nice to kind of ma um, mix and match these ones. So I used that one there. A llama wish you a happy birthday. And that's what I've stamped at the bottom there. So yeah, really has come together quite nicely this one. So let's just pop that there. And then these are all the bits which I'm going to talk you through as we go. So first of all, so this is a piece of seven by seven, okay? And you want to score at one and six, then flip the card, don't rotate it, just flip it, and score at two and five. And as always, just by flipping the card stock, it allows us to fold the card in the different directions which will then prevent cracking. Okay, so that's all of that you need to do. You don't need your scoreboard anymore, so I'll remove that. So I scored at one and six, and then flipped it over, and then I scored at two and five, then flip it back. So you want it when you originally scored the one and the six, okay? And then what you're gonna do is fold those two out, because we've scored them in the right way, like so. All right, and then the other ones you're gonna fold in like so. Again, I'll grab my bone folder, just burnish those score lines. And then you will have that shape. Okay, so that's the one and the uh, six score line, and that's the two and the five, like so. So it will stand on its own there. Then to put the bridge part on it, you will need a piece. I'm going to bring in my small scoreboard just to give you the measurements. So this small piece here is five by one and that is going to go across here. Now you don't want to stick it down yet 
because um, we've got our mats and layers to put on. But it's entirely up to you where you want to put this. You might want to put multiples. You might want to have one there, another one in the middle, one at the top. You might just want to have one right at the top there and you can have something hanging down. There's really, you know, quite a few fun ways to do this. But whatever you do, make sure you keep it straight. Okay, so that's that and that piece. And then it's all down to our mats and layers. So this is for the back. And I've already stuck the top piece on. And you'll see there, it will sit perfectly in that uh, three by seven section on the back there. So the top mat is two and seven eighths of an inch by, this one would have been just one increment down, so six and seven eighths of an inch, okay? And then the layer on top is two and three quarters, and then it's by six and three quarters, okay? Again, all these measurements will be in my blog, but that's gonna go on the back. And then for the front, Again, I've got the same size, so this piece here again is six and seven eighths of an inch by two and seven eighths of an inch. I've then gone for this pretty matte, sorry, layer to go on top, which again is two and three quarters by six and three quarters, okay? And then for all these side pieces, so all of my mats are gonna go in these pieces here all right so like so and these measure seven eighths of an inch because this is one inch wide so it's just gone down slightly so seven eighths of an inch again by yeah six and seven eighths of an inch okay and then the layers to go on top and you'll need four of each and these are three quarters of an inch by six and three quarters okay so you can see there how all the measurements work um, so they all fit perfectly together and then this is my layer to go on top of that little bridge piece here it's the same width I'm keeping it the same width I'm not doing a little border on the edges there you can see it goes right off the edge so it's the same width so it's five inches and this one is just by seven eighths of an inch okay so that's all the mats and layers. I will stick them all down in a moment. I just wanted to talk you through a little bit with the dies. So this is what the llama looks like when you die cut it. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> really, really love them. So they are just spare ones. The one I've actually done is I die cut it here and I've stuck it onto some white cardstock because I wanted to just make it a little bit stronger. So you can see here, it's a really strong little die cut. Just on its own, like this, it was just a little bit flimsy. Although I have just die cut that on the paper that came from the paper pack. So if you die cut it obviously on a thick cardstock, you can then use your inks and you can, you know, do like a blended look and color it in and stuff. So there's lots of fun ways, but I want to do a little bit of paper piecing. So I've just stuck it onto this white piece here. And then I've gone and die cut it again. That's my little bunting bits, which I'm gonna be adding. I've already done my, look how cute they are, my watermelon, my avocado and my cactus. So, so cute, I really like those. So I've already gone and done them. And the way I've done them is the same way that I'm gonna sh be showing you this one here. So I've die cut it in the yellow, stuck it down, and then I went and die cut it again in this color. And then you can see here, these are the bits that would have been, so you can see where that piece was like in that little kind of saddle. And then these are the bits that were in between the legs. So I'm keeping those and I'm going to paper piece and pop them back in to these bits. Okay. And that's how you can kind of just create and kind of bring it to life a little bit more. Now the face I am keeping white. Um, I did try it with colours and I just thought it looked a bit, uh, it didn't look right for me. So you can see that I've kept it white just so you can really see that it's the face and see the detail. So once I've obviously done that, I'm just going to bring in a little bit of my wet glue here and just put a little bit in there, in all these gaps, like so. This is a clear drying glue, you don't want anything that's tacky, because if you do get anything that kind of, you know, oozes out the sides, it will be fine. And then you just literally pop it back in again, so it's just like a jigsaw puzzle. So there, and then that's the taller one, that one goes in there. And you can just see by adding, you could do these all different colours, um, you don't have to do it all the same like I've done. And it will work with any die that you have. Any detailed dies anyway, and that one. Now if you really wanted to, you could do all these little bits here as well. But I thought I'm just going to keep this like that. So already now you can see 
how he's come together a little bit more. I just think it just shows up all the detail a bit more on his legs and brings the saddle, you know, kind of separates it from his body now and, and stuff. I think it looks great. So I've already stamped my sentiment. I've die cut four of the bunting there and that's what I'm going to create to go across there. And I thought this style card worked well with this die because of the bunting. I wanted something that, you know, this would hang from. So I thought that looked really good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fussy cut this. Now you can fussy cut it with a white border if you want, or you can leave it, um, or you can cut really close, which I've done there. And that's what I'm probably going to do the same, just so it really does show the full die cut. So um, yeah, I'm going to quickly speed this piece up. Okay, so now there's my llama. Really nice, solid little piece. And you can use that obviously as a topper for a card just like that. Pop it on some foam and you could use it that way and it would look nice. You could put a couple of like, you could put a cocktail stick or something underneath it and you could put it on a cake. Right, let's now do all the mats and layers. So I'm gonna go and stick down all these pieces that I showed you earlier. Okay, so that's my card now with all the mats and layers on, and I've got the back there. I'll make sure I got it the right way because <laughs> I've already popped that on there. So now I'm going to add the bridge part. So I'm just going to cover this with my lovely iridescent card there. So, like I said, this is the exact same length, it would just give you a border on the top and bottom, which I thought looked quite nice, like so. Again, if I just share it there, can you see it's just got this beautiful, lovely for mermaid tail and things like that, or unicorns, which obviously, well, no, yeah, Chasing Rainbows, it does, it has the unicorns in it. So now what you want to do is you want to decide where you want it. Now, because I've got my little llama here, I want it to obviously attach to that enough, but I want the legs to kind of hang down. You can see how cute that's going to look against that card there. So I am going to have it about one inch up from the bottom. But again, it's entirely up to you because I've got that bunting that's going to be coming down from the other side there. And this is one inch wide, so I know I just need to pop some of my runner tape here, just covering one inch there on each side. Ooh. And then do one side first. And you want to make sure you get this flat side completely flush with the outer side there. Otherwise, the card won't um, fold flat. And then you want to bring this up until the this outer side edge is flush with this outer side, keeping it all nice and straight. And that means your card will stand up straight and fold flat. So then just practice kind of folding it over each side so that you know it's going to sit there. And there you have your bridge fold. Okay, so I know I've got my bunting there, which is going to kind of keep that up together as well see there so have a play around see what works for you then we're going to stick him here so I need to just pop a little bit of tape I'm just going to pop some here it's my little embellishment I need and a little bit on the tops of his four legs make sure you can't see any of that let's just get rid of that bit there there we go and then like I said he's going to sit just there. There we go. Cute. Love it. Then I've got my little sentiment here and I've put this on some foam adhesive because I'm going to kind of sit the bits here so the cactus, the avocado and the watermelon is going to sit behind it. So kind of got it overlapping onto the llama there, love it. And then I'm just gonna pop some little bits of tape. Um, let's do it a little bit differently this time. So I'm gonna have that one there. I'm gonna have the avocado over to this side. And then I'm gonna have the cactus in the middle. And just have it kind of popping out like so. There we go. 
How lovely does that look? And then with this, what I've done is I trimmed off the outer little bits there, which are obviously acting as the string, but I actually join them right up. So I'm just going to do that on all of those. Okay, and then I'm going to use a little bit of wet glue for this just because it's so detailed. I'm just putting a little dab of glue and then the whole thing I kind of like spread right out. So I want to stick it as close to it as I can without it really kind of, you know, changing the look of the bunting without those little bits on that I just cut off. So like so and then that last one and four of these fit perfectly across the five inch width of the card okay so that's now dry and you'll see what I do is I line up the top ones completely flush with the top that one and that one bring them right up to the outer edge like so and then as this kind of moves around once it's stuck down it will kind of go where you want it so I'm going to pop a little bit of glue on that one and I'll be finishing it off with those little embellishments that I have here just on the top again this glue dries completely clear and uh, it's not tucky and then you can kind of move this around and have it once it stands up it dangles down you can see there I like how it moves as well I think it looks really cool. And then these ones here, I'm going to use a little bit of my silicone glue because I've got these little plastic embellishments and I just don't want them coming off. So I'm going to pop that one just at the top. And these are from um, the uh, like little kits and stuff. I just from years ago. I mean, they're just those. They're almost like it's from like more of the kids' crafts. But I thought they worked really well with this. So I used the pinky ones on that one there. And I thought they complemented the iridescent card there and just the flower colour in the actual papers. And then these ones here again work really well. And they go well with the Alama. And again, I think the iridescent just brings out any colour, doesn't it? But there you have it. So you've got a really cute bunting. And such a pretty card. Love these. Really enjoyed using the um, the dies. I did share all of the dies that I received over on my Facebook group and on Instagram. So you're going to see them featuring quite a bit this week because I just wanted to kind of sit down and really use them, you know, in the whole set. So yeah, you see that they stand up lovely. And there's the two cards, both folding completely flat, easy to post and pop in a five by seven envelope. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you like this bridge fold card from me today and I'll see you again soon for another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.